Akala, Moonbeam, and Astar are the top three winners of Polkadot Parachain slot auctions. What do they share in common besides they will all be parachains on December 18th? Well, the answer is all three of them can run smart contracts, so to some extent, they are all smart contract platforms. Ethereum, as the current largest smart contract platform, has been plagued by problems such as network congestion, high gas fees, and slow transaction speed. Could the newborn Polkadot-based platforms solve the existing problems and take the DApp ecosystem to a new level? Hi, I'm Kiko from Polkadot World. In this video, I will talk about why smart contract chains are important to the Polkadot ecosystem. And I will compare the similarities and differences between the smart contract solutions of Akala, Moonbeam, and Dastar. Before we start, we need to understand the fact that the Polkadot relay chain itself does not have smart contract functions. In other words, if you want to deploy a decentralized application in the Polkadot ecosystem, you cannot directly write a smart contract and then deploy it on the Polkadot relay chain. Instead, you can either write your business logic on your own parachain or parachain thread, or you can write a smart contract and deploy it to a parachain with smart contract functionality. And this is why parachains capable of running smart contracts are needed in Polkadot ecosystem. Because we need to admit that not all use cases require a parachain. In contrast, smart contract development is more convenient and cheaper. And there are already many smart contract applications that are pretty mature. Obviously, smart contracts have long been an indispensable part of the blockchain ecosystem. Smart contract platforms built on Polkadot have some natural latecomer advantages, such as lower fees, faster speed, interoperability with other chains, and support for cross-chain assets. But every new smart contract platform will face a very difficult challenge. That is, how to build a strong ecosystem from scratch. The core question is, how to attract more developers to use your platform? Because only by having more developers continuously build good apps, you can attract more users to use your platform, which in turn will attract more developers. That, in the end, will form a virtuous circle of increasing network value. The Ethereum ecosystem has been developed for several years. It already has a relatively mature development environment. It has many development tools, developers, and high-quality dApps. There's no reason not to take advantage of that, right? And this is the entry point for Moonbeam. Moonbeam is designed to be Ethereum compatible as perfectly as possible. They want developers to be able to deploy existing Solidity smart contracts to Moonbeam with minimal changes. And developers who are familiar with Ethereum can still use the same tools such as MetaMask when they build on Moonbeam. So how does that work? Moonbeam uses the Frontier layer, which is an Ethereum compatibility solution in Substrate, and it allows Substrate chains to run Ethereum contracts. The idea of Frontier is to emulate Ethereum's nodes. It will implement Ethereum RPC and simulate the block production process of Ethereum so that existing Ethereum apps and tools such as MetaMask and Remix can work with those nodes. Moonbeam can connect existing tools and applications to itself by deploying the Web3 RPC module in Frontier. And for those tools and applications, it feels just like connecting to another Ethereum network. For example, users can simply configure MetaMask to point to a Moonbeam-based node, and then users can use MetaMask to interact with applications on Moonbeam as usual. In addition, Moonbeam uses the same format of account addresses and keys with Ethereum. This means that users will use their original Ethereum accounts and keys to interact with Moonbeam instead of using substrate format ones as most other parachains do. Many people know Akala as the DeFi hub of Polkadot. It runs several DeFi applications, such as DEX, AUSD Stablecoin, and Liquid Dot. In fact, Akala also has an Ethereum-compatible smart contract platform called Akala EVM Plus, which will be launched soon. It's called Plus because it hopes to retain some of the advantages of Substrate while being compatible with Ethereum. For example, it has a customized economic mechanism and allows users to use any supported tokens to pay transaction fees. It also has native cross-chain functions and on-chain governance, and is fully upgradable. 
these innovations are impossible to achieve on Ethereum. Therefore, Akala will adopt an Ethereum-compatible solution called Body, which is developed by themselves. This solution is not compatible with Ethereum RPC. Instead, a JavaScript SDK is made to simulate a Web3 provider and write Polkadot extension as a MetaMask-like extension. In this way, existing Ethereum dApps can also use Polkadot extension to interact with Akala EVM. However, this also means that if you want to deploy an Ethereum smart contract on Akala, you might need to adjust the code a little bit so that it can be compatible with Akala's economic model. Unlike general smart contract platforms, Akala pays more attention to the optimization of DeFi use cases. For example, they might set a threshold for dApps to avoid some potential fraud. SDAR intends to support both EVM and WebAssembly virtual machines so that it allows both Solidity and Ink smart contracts to run on top of it. SDAR also introduces Solon, which can compile Solidity into WASM to run on the WebAssembly virtual machine. Another key feature of SDAR is it supports both Layer 1 and Layer 2 smart contracts. SDAR introduced a virtual machine called OVM, which supports all Layer 2 protocols and supports many Layer 2 scalability schemes, such as Astara and Lightning Network. With OVM, tokens can be transferred on Layer 2. And SDAR also introduced roll-ups to adopt smart contracts on Layer 2. In order to incentivize developers, SDAR designed the DAP rewards mechanism. 50% of the staking rewards in the network will be distributed to DAP developers. Users can nominate dApps to share some rewards, and this will help great dApps to be better discovered. In the world, the three chains each have their own metrics. Moonbeam focuses on full compatibility with Ethereum. Akala EVM Plus has made some optimizations while being compatible with Ethereum. iStar supports multiple virtual machines and Layer 2 smart contracts and attracts developers through the DApp rewards mechanism. Can we grow stronger and drive a new round of innovations in the rising Polkadot ecosystem? Let's wait and see. If this video is helpful to you, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. If there are other projects that you want me to talk about, don't hesitate to leave a message below.